Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. To make this crop top you will need a weight 4 yarn and a 3mm crochet hook. I will leave the link for the written pattern down below so please check that out. So to begin with make a chain of 16. Next you're going to make a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. And then double crochet into every stitch until you reach the second last stitch. So once you reach this last stitch, you're going to place two double crochets into that stitch. Then you're going to chain one and then you're going to place another two double crochets into that same space again. So next you're going to flip the piece to the side like so and you're going to double crochet into every stitch all the way down. So just to make sure that when you reach the end you're going to place a double crochet into the top of your chain three because that chain three counts as a double crochet. So next chain three and then turn your work. Now you're not going to make a double crochet into that very first stitch because the chain three counts as your double crochet so you're going to move on to the next space and place your first double crochet and then you're going to double crochet into every stitch all the way up until you reach that chain one space right there so into that space you're going to place two double crochets And then a chain one and then two more double crochets. And then you're going to continue with double crochets all the way along until you reach the end. And then you're going to repeat that row over and over again until the cup is big enough to go around your breast. So next make a chain of three and then turn your work and then you're going to skip this space that space and then go into the next space with a half double crochet and then chain one skip the next space half double crochet into the next stitch and then chain one skip one half double crochet into the next and continue until you reach the chain one space and so here we are at your chain one space so chain one skip that chain one space and then make a half double crochet into the next stitch and then continue all the way to the end 
So for the next row, you're going to turn your work and you're not going to make any chain. So into that very first space, you're going to place a slip stitch. And then into the next space, you're going to place five double crochet. And then into the next space you're going to make a slip stitch and then into the space following that you're going to make five double crochet again the space after that slip stitch the space after that five double crochet and continue that way until you reach the top of your cup So now we've reached the very top of the cup. You know it's the top when the space is in line with the other chain one spaces that we've been doing all along. So into that space, you're going to place three double crochets. And then you're going to make a chain of 200 this is going to be your next strap and then you're going to slip stitch all the way down that chain so when you reach the end of that chain you're going to place two double crochets back into that same space again And then you're going to continue with the slip stitch into the next space, five double crochets into the space after that and continue that until you reach the very end. So once you've reached the end, just make a chain one and cut your yarn and then just fasten off and then go ahead and make your second cup. So next you're going to make a chain of 22. Grab one of your cups and then you're going to place a double crochet right into that space. Just right there. And then you're going to place two double crochets into this next space. And then two double crochets into the next space and then continue with two double crochets into each space across your cup until you reach the end. So here we are at the end and into this space right here, you're going to just place one double crochet. And then you're going to chain one 
Then you're going to grab your second cup and then you're going to double crochet into this space. And then you're going to continue by placing two double crochets into each space all the way across the cup. And then when you reach the end, you're going to place one double crochet into that space right there. So here we are placing the one double crochet into that space and then we're going to make a chain of 24 so once you have your 24 chains done you're going to double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook And then you're going to continue with double crochet into every chain all the way across and don't forget to place a double crochet into the chain one that's between each cup so for the next row you're going to chain four skip the next space and then double crochet into the following and then chain one skip the next double crochet into the following and continue that all the way across So for your next row, make a chain of four and then turn your work and then you're going to place a double crochet right on top of the double crochet from the previous row. And then you're going to chain one and then double crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous row and continue that all the way to the end so once you reach the end you're going to chain one and then you're going to place a double crochet into that third chain this is your chain four so place your double crochet into the third chain up and then you're going to repeat that row over and over again until you're happy with the length of top that, that you want So when you have your length of top done, you're going to make a chain of 250. This will be your back strap and then you're going to slip stitch all the way down that chain. And then you're going to cut your yarn and then fasten off and then you're going to attach your yarn to the opposite corner. just right in there so just get get your yarn and just tie a knot and then make another chain of 250 and then do the very same thing to the other side of your top and that's it that's your top completed so don't forget I will leave the link of the written pattern down below and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe and I'll see you next time.